Good. You gave us a chance to, uh, you know, right out about mid-season, so we got our legs back underneath us, and, and uh, you know, it's, you start to get a little leg weary about mid-year, so it, was, it came in a good, a good uh, point in time for that. Um, got some downtime for the guys. It's a little bit different when you come back after a bye for a Thursday contest rather than a Saturday, and so it's not your your typical bye week. But uh, I think we made the most of it, which we try to do, obviously, every every time we have a bye. Yeah, that's that's the uh, the plan going forward. And again, it's not a, a huge strategic move. It's just something that why tip your hand if you don't have to, and we don't have to. There's no. It's not like the NFL where you have to declare, you know, what, what's going on. And so, uh, we're, uh, you know, we're they've handled themselves very well in practice, and you'd expect both of them to work uh, hard, uh, just like they have all year all year long, and and uh, really no change in our approach in that regard. Well, you know, we came off a, a big win against Stanford and, and uh, really didn't get much going after that. That was disappointing to, to not capitalize on a, uh, a victory like that and, and get some momentum. And, uh, you know, we, we did have Travis hurt, I think it was his hand, that he hurt the very next week against Arizona and, and was uh, hurt on and off the rest of the season until obviously the, the concussion a, a few weeks later. But, but uh, you know, we want to try to obviously – Play much better in the second half of the season this year than we did last year, but uh, you know we're we're healthy right now for the most part. We've had some guys uh, that uh, we've missed here and there uh, throughout the course of the first five games, so we haven't been completely healthy, but certainly in much better health and particularly at the quarterback position than we were last year. Last year, uh, well, that was the number one probably probably uh, issue as far as uh, personnel. Um, didn't get any turnovers. You know, didn't create t takeaways like we are this year. We've we've had a pretty good run of interceptions and and getting the ball uh, taken away. Special teams uh, last year, although it wasn't bad, uh, wasn't having the impact that it has had so far this season. So probably those two or three things combined. Well, that's certainly the the biggest factor is is the talent level. We've got an excellent kicker, Nanny Phillips. Uh, Hackett is one of the nation's best punters. Clay is one of the nation's best return men. And outside of that, we have all the guys, the supporting cast, buying into what we're doing on special teams. You know, Clay has returned what four kicks for touchdowns, but it's not all Kalen Clay. It's a bunch of guys working their tails off to to block for him and get him get him space so we can so we can make that happen. And then uh, you know, with Andy and and Tom, they're just very very talented at what they do. And uh, that whole thing has added up to some pretty good special place, special teams play so far. For me, it's just a matter of keeping it organized, making sure throughout the work week, uh, the practice week, that we have uh, the right amount of time devoted to uh, each phase, uh, meeting time and on the field. Um, making sure that the uh, you know the content of the scout report and just all the detail stuff that go in goes into uh, preparing for a game, special teams wise, is in order. And so I'm not going to sit here and say it's uh, you know I'm doing everything because I'm not, but I'm I'm the guy that uh, is responsible to get it structured. Our Sean uh, Mannion's numbers are a little bit off this year as opposed to last year. He had that monster game against us last year and, and several others. You know, it was several weeks last year where he put up uh, big-time numbers and, and uh, hasn't quite had that uh, statistical impact this year, but he's still a great leader for them and doing things they need to have, have him do to win games, which, which they've done. But uh, Sean does a nice job of getting the ball out of his hands quick and making quick decisions. And uh, hasn't been hasn't been sacked excessively this year, but uh, you you do approach it differently when you have a guy that's not a true du a true dual threat and and where the running element is not as prevalent with Mannion as it was with Hundley and some of the other guys, you do approach that a little differently. Well, yeah, we did uh, see a lot of Max Pro last year, and and uh, I think you know to get Brandon Cooks, have, let him have time to do his thing and get open. Uh, we expect to, to see a certain dose of it again this year. You know, I, mean, I can't predict exactly, but but that has been a part of Coach Riley's scheme for a lot of years is is uh, getting max protection and and uh, two man routes and, and sometimes three man routes. But but uh, we expect a balanced attack, which they've been uh, so far this season, getting about 130 or 40 rushing the football and another uh, 250 or so throwing, which in this day and age is pretty balanced. 
Well, it's, you know, when you run the spread offense, it's got to be a part of what you do every week. And it's really a week to week thing. And I don't, I don't think there was anything necessarily uh, going into that game that we're going to try to exploit. It just happened. I mean, how, how players react and how they, how they do, uh, you know, how they execute their assignments and their techniques. Uh, some weeks it's there and some weeks it's not. And so we didn't have, uh, the uh, thought process going into that game, hey, this is going to be a big week for the for the zone read. It just happened to, to shake out that way. And that's usually the, how it works. There's not a, with everybody doing, uh, or not everybody, but so much spread offense in the nation now, everybody's becoming accustomed to how to how to defend it and how the defensive ends need to play and so forth. And so uh, I don't think that um, last year, you know, there was a big emphasis on it. And, but, you know, this year, if if we uh, if it's there and we can capitalize, then we will. But if it's not, then you got to go a different direction. Well, uh, Coach Banker, their defensive coordinator, has been there a lot of years. Uh, in fact, uh, I don't know how many years he's been there, 8, 10, maybe even beyond that. He's been there for a while, done a great job, always has a stingy defense. Uh, they're a quarters coverage team. That's their base coverage, and they run it very well. They know exactly what they're doing. Um, with that coverage, and, and you know they do some other things as well. But you're going to get that coverage about 65% of the time when you're when you're playing these guys, and and they're just coached up exceptionally well. They've got good technique. The corners in that particular coverage, you got to have two corners that can that can hold up in in uh, one-on-one situations, which they have had and do have this year. And I think that's really the formula: consistency in what they're doing. Been doing the same thing for a lot of years, and they've got good players. We've talked about that, and I don't want to say. Uh, I don't know if I agree with letdown. We just uh, we didn't get the win against Arizona. We lost Travis uh, in the first half. Actually, it was the first series or two, I think, is when he hurt his hand. And we actually were right in the ball game to the very, very end. The score was a little more, uh, uh, the differential was a little more than how the game actually was. Could, I think Kadeem Carey popped a run on us in the last drive to, to make it uh, out of reach. But, but uh, we definitely have had that conversation, how we didn't capitalize on, on a big win last year. Uh, versus Stanford, and the, the timing of the game is almost identical. I think Stanford was week six last year uh, rather than week five, which the UCLA game was. And so anyway, it's a one game at a time mentality, but we hope to have a better result throughout the second half of the season this year than we did last year. Yeah, with uh, you wouldn't thought, wouldn't have thought that just through three weeks, three or four weeks of conference play, three for some guys, four for other, I guess two weeks for some of us, but but to have everyone have a loss this early is uh, unusual, but not unexpected. You know, I, I could see, uh, you know, from my own vantage point and my own opinion going in, that it was a very balanced league, and there's a lot of a lot of. Uh, uh, I don't want to. I hate the word parity, but there's there's just balance in the league, and if you're not ready to play every week, you're going to get beat. That's uh, that's what's happened so far, and you may even see a two-loss team uh, win the North or the South. You know, we'll have to see how things shake out, but it doesn't surprise me.